All right, so we're going to do an experiment today to test the effect of temperature on rates of fermentation in regular, ordinary, everyday bread yeast, the same yeast that you could buy at the store. And remember, this particular process is the thing that makes bread light and fluffy and explains all of those beautiful little air spaces that make it so delicious. Here we have got our cold water trial, our room temperature water trial, and our warm water trial. You can tell this one's the warm water trial because of the steam in this part of the test tube. Now what we're going to do here is take our yeast solution, which is just water, yeast, and a little bit of plain everyday white granulated table sugar, and we're going to put a little bit of that into each one of these pipettes hopefully just about the same amount in each so that we can control our variables. We're going to get the yeast in there. We're going to let it settle down into the bottom of our pipette and uh, let the last little bit get out of the tube there. Cut it like so. Drop a couple of washers on this thing so that it sinks into the water and drop it in like that. There we go. There's our room temperature trial. Now once we've got all three of them set up, we'll do a little quantitative analysis to see what's going on here and see if there's any difference based on the temperature of these environments. You can already see, we see some evidence that fermentation is happening here by the release of bubbles. And if you remember what happens during fermentation, you should be able to predict the gas that we would find inside of those bubbles. It's carbon dioxide. So we will take another one, fill it up just the same way as we did with our first trial, knock it over like that, let the excess out, cut it like so, drop a couple of washers on there, and away we go into our cold water trial. And then finally we've got our warm water trial, so we'll fill up our pipette, let it settle out of the tube, cut it like so, drop a couple of washers on there, and in we go. All right, now for this to be an accurate trial, we want to make sure that we start collecting data all at the same time. So I'm going to count down from three, and when I give the signal, we're going to start counting bubbles for each one of our three trials. The more bubbles means the faster the reaction of fermentation is occurring. So three, two, one. <laughs> That looks like it's just about time. So now as good scientists, it is time to analyze our results. So if you've been keeping track of how many bubbles have been released by each one of these, you know a little something about how temperature affects the rate of fermentation in regular, everyday, ordinary bread yeast.